For too many kids, bullying is an ugly fact of life. Experts say one in five high school students are bullied on school property. That doesn't even count what happens at the mall or in the neighborhood. Then add in bullying by text and online. Clearly, bullying is an issue. And as Monica reports, in a number of schools, a unique program is taking center stage. Outside, it looks like just another day at the H.C. Crittenden Middle School. But inside, the students are getting ready for a special performance. Summer's over and you know what that means. We're going back to school. The New Kid is an anti-bullying musical. It's an hour long and it stars kids in all of the roles, which is really cool for the kids watching so that they can relate to it. And it tells the story of Zach, a new kid at a middle school, and the challenges he faces trying to fit in with the other kids. Well, there are these four groups and everyone's supposed to belong to one of them. And there's the Brainiacs who wear blue and they are like the smart girls in the school. And there's the Mods who wear yellow and they're the popular and the mean girls. And the Geeks wear purple and they're obviously the geeky boys. And the Gangsters are two boys and one girl and they push everyone around and they have to wear red. This here's Sean and she's my main man. You mess with her, you'll be in pain, man. And um, I'm Samantha, and I wear black because I got kicked out of being in any of the groups. Popular, you're not popular. Do what you would trade if you want to pass and really have me and be popular. Oh, so popular. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Random Farms Kids Theater produces the show. They stage performances at various local schools. You see those kids over there? The Brainiacs, doing homework during recess. The audience is both entertained and educated. They learn that bullying can take many different forms. For example, making kids do things that are just plain wrong. Because they don't know you when you can get close, is to copy the homework and get it back to me by the end of the day. Dre, the bully, he gives Zach, the main character, two, three tests, and the first one is that he has to copy homework from another group of kids, the Brainiacs. And then the second test was that he had to kiss a girl, uh, a girl that he didn't really know he had just met a few minutes ago. Oh, your name. Are you gonna kiss me or what? I guess. Should I take out my gum? The third test is that Zach has to beat up a geek named Lewis, and he's not really comfortable doing that because it's one of his really good friends. So it's kind of a very uncomfortable situation. Maybe in real life things don't always work out, but they do in the play. Everyone realizes that to be, to be themselves, it's a better thing than just to be fake. And um, no matter if someone doesn't like you, just be true to yourself and stay with who you really are. Even when the curtain comes down, it's not over. An important part of the program is what happens next. The cast comes back out on stage and the audience gets to ask them questions. I think the audience is getting how we're trying to tell them a very important lesson about bullying. So when we're giving it to them, they're going to say, oh, maybe I was being a bully. What is a bully? Or who is a bully? I love seeing, you know, like how the kids react to the show because I really love it how they're like, oh my God, you know, I, I, I really was moved and stuff and, you know, it's great that we're actually like making a change or a difference in what kids think. Some of the cast members were once in the audience themselves. I decided to join the play because it really sent out a good message when I first saw it and it was something that I've always wanted to do because I've been bullied myself. After the show, students told us they're more determined than ever to stand up to bullying. There's even a term for it, being an upstander. An upstander is somebody who takes a stand for someone who's being bullied and they don't just stand by, they really speak out and they defend them and they help them. You can go tell an adult or you can say, stop. 
They've got the right idea. If we had a lot more upstanders, we'd have a lot fewer bullies.